Welcome to Frico Plays Room. Total War 2 in God Mode. Athens 2, Episode 12. This is the Battle of Britain, number 4. The Battle of Isca, which promises to be, hopefully, the last battle as I, Frico, review the work of Cremonides. In this episode, Cremonides aims to finish off the Battle of, well, Battle of Britain at Isca, where 4,000 plus Iskans have made a last stand in the name of Isca, the name of the Demani faction, and the name of Britain herself. Their bravery in the face of slaughter will provide you with the entertainment you need to get through this day. But it won't save them from the fate of the grinding war machine our great Cremonides has in store for them. And also has built. So let's, uh, let's just take a, take a look here at, uh, where are we going to go here? There's our general at. There's our brave general. Let's get you down here. Because we're about ready to begin. Oh, oh, I can't begin that yet until. All right. We're about ready to begin this battle. And I don't know anything about this battle. Cremonides asked permission to basically do his own complete thing and not follow my guides at all. And I said, all right, I will give you this chance to see what you can do. So we're going to see what he has done here. We'll see, and he promises me something in different. So we'll see. So we'll see what happens. Let's go. When we have taken this place and our enemies kneel in shame before us. Are you kidding me? No. Ah! Ah! Uh, he didn't even wait. He just started his speech and ran look at that he ran right up here though look what he's doing he's running right in and he's sealing off the entrance to for them to bring their troops out so that the catapults can shell so he's rushed them right up here he's not waiting for them to come to them and putting on a pounding right away and there you see it yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'd say you hate to see it. I think you love to see it, frankly. Oh, oh, getting hit hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. You're throwing your little spears, but you're getting crushed. Let's see what you guys can do. Bringing these guys. Oh, uh, shirtlesses. Oh, shirtlesses. That's not good. You're going to get a lot of road burn on your bodies today. A lot of, lot of road burn. Oh, yeah. They're trying to break through. What can they do? They got to try. Oh, did you see that horse go down? Oh, Oh, wow. They're losing bad. Just just devastating. Devastating. Uh, getting the journal, get general right up there in the front. Wonderful. Beating them down. Oh, wow. Brutal. Cremonides is doing good work here. Let's see how he's doing in other areas. What's he got going on with the boats here? Let's see if we can get up to the boats. What are you guys doing here? All right. All right. So you guys are just heading in. You're heading on in. You got some missile guys and stuff in here. Let's see what you got coming out. Coming their way. 
Oh, yeah. We got ourselves some towers. <clears throat> got ourselves, uh, I don't know what you guys are. Just a navy here. What do we got over here? Haha. <laughs> Look, these guys are already like, no, man, that's cool. We're done. They're, there's their navy has already up and turned and and fled the scene. Let's let's get uh, let's see what these guys are doing. Come on. Why? Oh, you're not letting me go on then. Why are you not let the camera work, man? Come on, why is the camera not working? You're doing something, you dumb dumb. Yeah, dumb dumb. Wow, so they're just shelling away, and now it looks like these guys are about ready to enter. So let's hitch a ride with them. Tell you what. Uh I don't want to be with you guys. You're you're not a good view for me. I think you're a better. Oh, yeah, there's their. Oh, and you'll see what they're going to do. They're moving in. They're moving in. Look at them rowing. They're clubbing it. All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? You guys got the easiest job. No, you got no worries. Nobody. Oh, you're already ready. All right. What? What are you complaining about? What'd you say? Oh, you're firing. Good, good, good. Yep. Well, this is interesting, what they're saying here. Wow. Good, good direction. Nice. Nice. Good job, guys! Yeah! All right! Oh, yeah. I mean, this is where you want to be, right? This is this is the heroic job. Look at that. And look, you can just see them. <laughs> look at them getting hammered over here! Hammered! Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. And look, now they're going for it. They know what to do. Oh, yeah. Just, just devastating. And look, they're broken. They're broken. They're already broken. And they're still firing on them, but they're broken. I think this is over, folks. We're just about, just about near the end. They, they, they just grinded them down. And then you got these guys. I think this is about all that's really left of them here. Floating on over here. All right. Give us a view. What's going on? We're just killing people. We're just killing people. I don't know why we're not going after these guys, but all right. Uh, okay. I think Commodities is just concentrating right now on finishing those guys up. I mean, we got these guys trying to escape. You guys going to go after them? Go forward! Oh, they're just battling them. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's going to be over any second now. I mean, they're basically done. All right. Who we got on the move? Got anybody on the move? Take us for a ride somewhere, guys. Who's moving? All right, you're moving. Let's. All right, where are we going? All right, let's go. I don't know where we're going, but let's do it. Okay, we're just. Wait, so when I. Why is it? Keep going, guys. Don't stop. Don't stop. Let's see what's going on. Wow, look at that sun. That's annoying. I do not like this. But I'm loving the day. Oh yeah, there we go. Why are we not? Why are we over here? What are we scouting out or something? I like to think that we're scouting. 
Yeah, do that. Yeah! Well done, Cremonides. SG1 right there. SG1 and Heavy Cav. Those guys are working well together. I really like their combinations. That Heavy Cav is a backup to just kind of go after anyone trying to go after your 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 guys is just 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 devastating wow so that's it that's the battle of isca and you could see that we killed 3800 of their guys that that's what that's designed to do it's designed to to spread terror so essentially chromonides I'm very happy to see he kept the overall philosophy. He is a Fricosian at heart. And I think for him, I think what he's really showing me, listen, this is me. I am aligned with the Fricosian vision. But he did a new wrinkle in that what he did was these weren't walls. So what he did was essentially he created a wall that they had to charge. But he also injected... Uh, of force into the middle that they would also have to come into so he created reasons for them to cluster and that allowed their artilleries their sea and land artilleries and their archers and whatnot to just just brutalize them so it was a new wrinkle what he is uh, is i i think that the next battle i have to give alexandros a chance to lead whatever the next battle is going to be and I myself I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, what what it might be let's let's go back to the home screen here and let's continue our campaign uh, what we're gonna do is uh, take a brief look at the map to show where we're at and to show what it is that we're going to be doing in the near future and it's science and logic and reason that's going to be coming into play here. That's for sure. So, well, within a framework of preference. And the framework of preference is the total annihilation of choice throughout the, the, the world. Be, 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 well, the world on the other side of the clouds. See, let me, let me explain this to you. This is, this is our world. This is what we know, okay? We only know what we know. And we operate under that. So outside of the clouds, look, like we can't even get anything to even move past these clouds. Every once in a while, we manage to get some individuals that go through. But when they do go through, no one has ever, ever returned. So once a year, we pick one person to go through the clouds. And now it's voluntary. It's usually somebody as like a, dying usually a dying person that's about ready to going to be dying soon anyway so why not die this way so they go into the clouds and they never return we don't know what's beyond the clouds so when i say the known world we have reason to believe there is a world beyond our world but we just can't do anything about it so we exist within this world this is all we know of the world this is all we've known of the world for the last we wager maybe 3,000 years. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of people that say it's longer than that. Some people say it's shorter. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a mystery. But this is what this is our world. And there has been choice for so long that, that there have been such violence and such evil that we believe that the only way to get rid of it is by get rid of, get rid of, getting rid of choice. So that's our job, our mission. We, we Fricosians is to unite the world under Frico, me. Frico, the great and powerful Frico. And uh, Athens is where we're running out of. This is the second time we've run an Athens scenario. What we find ourselves is this is what happens. And we're looking for a time when this won't change. Well, it happened once, and we don't know whether it'll happen again. We were Athens. We conquered the world. And after we conquered the world, what happened was all of a sudden we found ourselves having to choose who we wanted to be. We didn't get the choice the first time, but this is how we're Athenians, so we chose Athens again. 
we learned a lot of lessons and that's what we're running through here but i i don't know whether at the end once we get rid of choice if we find ourselves back again with another dare i say it choice of our own so it's it's kind of scary we're trying to figure out what's going on but whatever it is the only really consistent person throughout all of this by the way is me Frico. i am the only one that really i mean there are folks that that have come through from the last group but 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 i'm i'm presuming i'm the only consistency at least that's what my doctors tell me so i'm I'm going with that, and I'm hoping, because if we make another shift, and I'm not part of that, because not everyone shifted with us. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. So that's the scary part. We don't know. It's a weird world we live in. I'm not going to lie to you. So with that in mind, I am just going to... Well, I, got, I think I got a lot of things that I'm going to do off screen, and that is to heal, heal the nation. And if you'd like to watch me, you know what, I'll, I'll deal with Iska here. Let's go with Iska. So we want to go with, 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 with control and uh, we want military. So let, let me go look at this. Uh, what do we got? Shipwright. We got you. You got the flames. And that's the shipwright. I don't think you're. Are you an option? Because I didn't think you were an option because I'm pretty sure if I had seen it, I would have picked shipwright. But no, you're not. You're not an option. So basically, the idea is that we pick whichever is the most militaristic for us. We don't have a military wharf option. And we got a harbor. We got a port. We got a shipwright. We got a military wharf, a harbor, and a fishing port. And you're not giving me any of those. You're only giving me... If fishing port gives me that, that sucks. I don't want this. I can't have this in my life. I don't want a fishing port. I don't want a dry dock. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me see something. I may be missing something here. Hold on. Hold on. I may be missing. We're looking here. Dry dock. That's where we're at. Okay, so that's where we're at. All right. We're all right. We're all right. Dry dock gives us this. And docks give us this. I'm going with docks. Definitely going with docks. We want our we want our military docks. Keep on going down the docks. Docks. Yep. Because it's all about love. We're gonna go with this. This gives us archers. Gonna go with this. Oh man. Oh, I gotta destroy that. I gotta destroy that. So Isco will come back. It'll be better. There will be all kinds of opportunities for the people there that love the military and love the military life and supporting the military life. And if you don't love that kind of life, well, you know, we have places for you. There's, there's roles for you. There's things that you can do that are on the peripheries of military life that make you feel like you're not part of military life, like entertainers and crap like that so there'd be stuff don't worry there'd be stuff for you for you people that don't like military life but not a lot like only a small amount but so like if you're not good enough i don't know we'll have to talk about that another time the the ability to uh limit choice is uh really significantly limited by the ability to kill innocent people so we have to figure out a way to do that in a way that doesn't horrify people. So we'll work on that. We're working on that. We're working on that. Don't worry. This is beautiful, though. This, you can see a, a, a sense of of what is ahead. Really, let me let me just show you fundamentally what is ahead. Let's go. Let's go up here. First off, there we go. We're in Eblana, and then there is. So there is the British Isles, and then we're going to come to, we're going to land here, and then we're going to, actually, no, we're not. We're not going to land there, that's right. What we're going to do is we're going to get as close as we can, wherever there is no Roman, as low as we can go, that is where we're going to go. See, that is Roman. 
That is not, so that is fair game. And that is not. And that is not. I would wager that the first place that we will 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 take I think we're going to primarily be a land endeavor because we're going to take here. This would be the first place that we would go right here. As a matter of fact, I am so intent. You know what? I think that uh, I basically should. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to leave it up to chance. I'm going to leave it up to chance. If the Romans have the moxie to take these, then these will be theirs. But I really hope they don't because I really like this boundary here. And I really want to then consolidate all of the rest of power right right through the river here until we get to, to my space, to my areas, which uh, might not exist. Well, we're not going to go down there. Ah, uh, we have much to do, folks, much to do. So this has been the Battle of Isca and a little bit of a uh, touring of what's to come. I uh, thank you all. Let me make sure I save this as uh, post, there you go, post Isca. There we go. We're going to do post Isca. I believe that for the next episode, I could theoretically be... Looking at uh, possibly sooner than later. I'm not sure. We'll see if I can resist the temptation to not take these two cities here. Where are we at? To not come down here and just real quickly just... See, I wouldn't take that. I'll leave that alone. I'll leave that to them. But I would take here. This would be my starting point. And then I would work my way across as fast as I could. Straight across. Wouldn't even worry about going up necessarily yet. And I would keep going until I got to my land. So that would be... A one, two, three, four... Probably going to have to take you, too. As a matter of fact, I'm probably... Mm, yeah. Probably you, too. So I think what I will have to do probably is... Uh, hopefully there's some soft guys in here that I can take quickly. Take these three guys here. Consolidate that. And then... I'm not going to worry about the coast. Because I pretty much... If I can seal off the Romans from expanding anymore, wherever I can go, those are the cities that I will take in my next venture. So, this next campaign is going to be the, con the, the, the final consolidation of, of the Frikosian Empire. Because thereafter, all bets are off. This is going to be... Well, maybe not. Never mind. I forgot. I keep forgetting about the East. I keep forgetting this vast lands that I have to go after. I was really hoping that these guys would would get their act together and get a lot more territory. So when I'm facing these vast territories, I got like massive forces that I'm facing. But so far, I'm a little disappointed in some of these. So, you know, on that front, let me do this. Let me make sure. Be welcome and speak in friendship. I will give a receptive ear to your words. I'm going to give Rome some payments. Offer payment. There you go. Offer you a payment. There you go. That's it. There you go. I will recommend your worthy proposal. Cool. Thank you. And go to Carthage here. And uh, once again, I'm going to go Carthage. In the name of the people of Carthage, you are welcome. Offer payment. I give them payments with some degree of regularity because I want them it is good. I want them to have all, all that they can possibly have to do what they can. 
Come on, Egypt. Hi. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a, it's a queen. Hello, queen. Thank you. You're so cool. Here you go. You deserve this. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. I cut you off. I didn't mean to. I, I, I really apologize. All right, and now we get the Seleucids. They're never nice to me, but I try. I try. I really wish that you guys would do a lot I more. To oh, you finally like me. And will listen with interest to all See, he likes to me too now, finally. I've paid them enough to finally. There for a while, I give them money. they still be like, well, thank you. you. Well, we'll take this one. You're insect. I accept. We have an agreement. And I'm sure I have some decent Cyprian wine around here somewhere. Nice. Nice. Thanks. We'll booze it up together, bro. Nice. Let's go out. Let's go out and party. You and me. You guys got to take more land. Okay, I think that's the end of this episode. So I'm going to go consolidate my power in, in, in Britannia. And, uh, and that'll be that. That will be that. Consolidation in Britannia. And then we'll begin the next campaign.